When Demita Carter's mother signed her in this morning around 7.30, there were only four other children for her to play with. The Techwood Homes Recreation Center director, Lois Dunn, had been expecting 70. As the city had promised, a policeman did come by to check on the tiny super summer group, but the color-coded t-shirts were still somewhere downtown, and there had been no word about lunch deliveries. Ms. Dunn said she would make do. Cone School was making do by not starting their program until tomorrow. But across the street at Cone Park, things were well underway. My name is Cassandra. How do you do? How do you do? 35 kids were there by the time exercise class began. They were there for fun, but most knew why the Safe Summer program had started. It's scary because you, you, might, you think you might get kidnapped or something. Do you think that these camp programs will help? Yes, because you, you won't be uh, in the streets and you won't, that way you'll prevent from getting kidnapped. At the Clark College gym, the place was packed, 135 children by 9.30. Officials there explained to parents the t-shirts would not arrive till next week when regular attendance was more apparent. Super summer planners had always predicted there'd be a lot of playing it by ear at first. Today, Mayor Jackson said the program shakedown would probably last about two weeks. On Friday, program officials will meet to assess the week on by to see what needs to be changed and where. But at this super summer site, at least, it looked like all systems were go. What are we here for? Hank Phillippe, Action News.